Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve makeup look. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor. I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast. And here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup. And today, the last video of 2022, of course I had to bring uh, makeup for you to use on New Year's Eve. I really hope that you like this one. I decided to do a rose gold makeup to run a little bit to the gold makeup that we are used to on New Year's Eve. I really hope you like this one. I think that it's looking so beautiful, so perfect. And if you want to know how I did it, which were the products that I use, just keep on watching. I am really excited to share with you the New Year's makeup look so you can pass the midnight looking good, looking fabulous. So I already did my skincare, everything of that part is done. So we are going to start the makeup. And I'm just going to apply this little thing on my hair so it doesn't come to my face. So the first step, it's going to be of course a foundation. I decided to pick this foundation today because I want to do a good skin, but something very natural. I want it to look good, but something very natural. The color that I have on this one, it's the 210. I'm going to spread it with my sponge. So as you can see, the skin is looking very natural. It just seems like I gave something to the skin. That's what I wanted. Because normally when we see a high that it's very strong or something like that, we also see the skin very strong. And I wanted to contradict a little bit that. So the next step, it's going to be concealer. I decided to pick this one in here from Charlotte Tilbury. The Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And even though I'm going to do a skin that it's a little bit more natural, I decided to pick a concealer that has a good coverage because my under eyes are a little bit dark and I want to conceal that part. I'm also going to spread my concealer with my sponge. That's the way I love to put my concealer. I just love the finish that it gives. Just beautiful. Look at the skin as like I'm moving my face. It's looking very creamy and everything. But now I'm going to apply the powder and it's going to take that finish of the skin. The powder I'm going to be using it's going to be this one in here from Path McGrath, the Skin Finish Sublime Perfection. My color it's the medium. I'm going to take first the lines underneath the eyes and I'm going to apply it with my sponge. On the rest of the face, I'm going to apply with a brush. And now let's do a little bit of warming up the face. So I'm going to pick my bronzer, this one in here from NARS in the color Casino. And let's warm a little bit my complexion, just giving a little bit of color to my skin. I'm going to put the more amount of product here on the cheeks, giving some color, but also apply on the rest of my face so we can give it a little shape. Also a little bit here on the nose, just to give a little bit of contour to it. And for blush, I'm going to pick this palette in here from Dior. And I'm going to use this rosy and give some color to my cheek. Also a little bit of light.
And for a lighter, I'm going to mix these two in here. Give even more light to the skin. Apply a little bit here on the nose as well and on the cupid bow. And now for the eyebrows, I'm going to use this pencil in here from NYX. It's the micro brow pencil. And first, I'm going to put the little hairs on its place. Now, let's apply the product. Give a good eyebrows to the look, but not something too much. I want it to look natural at the same time. And the eyebrows are done as well. As you can see, I gave them a little something, but they still look good. For the eyes, I decided to don't do gold. I wanted to go to the rose gold and not to the gold that we are used to because I think that when we think about New Year's we always think gold or then uh, silver. So I wanted to go a little bit out of that way. The first product that I'm going to use on my eyes is going to be a color fix. It's in the creme brulee and I'm going to apply it on my eye. I'm going to apply it all over. I'm pushing it to my eyebrow, doing like a triangle in here. I hope that you can see in there. And now I'm going to pick other color fix. This one, it's in the color Ballerina. Just going to do one eye first and then I do the other. And then I'm going to pick this loose pigment from Woman Things. This one, it's in the color Rose Gold. As you can see, it's giving rose and gold pigments to the look. And now I'm going to pick this eyeliner in here from Makeup Forever. For mascara, I'm going to apply my Rare Beauty one. So now I'm going to apply some eyelashes on this eye. I'm going to use single ones. I'm going to use two on the outer corner that are a little bit longer and then other two that are a little bit shorter. The right eye is done. Now what I'm going to do is do this one and I'm going to be right back so we can finish the make. This is the two eyes done. I did the same thing on this side that I did on this one. Now let's do the lips. First I'm going to pick my lip liner from Huda Beauty. It's in the color Honey Beige and I'm going to over lip them. And for lipstick, I'm going to use this one from Rare Beauty in the color Courage. Our lips are done. Now, I'm going to use a setting spray. I'm going to use this one in here from the Nessa Myricks, the Dewy Forever Mist. And our New Year's Eve makeup is done. 
I am really happy with the final result of the makeup. I think that it's looking beautiful. I'm really happy that I did a pink makeup, a rose gold makeup, and that I ran away from the gold makeups or the silver makeups. I think that this makeup is just looking so beautiful. I'm in love with it. I think that it turned out so good. And the truth is, I love doing pink makeups. I think that they look beautiful. You can see the rose gold in here on the eyes. I think that this pigment from Woman Things, it's just amazing. I am just so happy that I did it this way. The lips also look beautiful. The skin looks very natural, as you can see. Something more simple. It's a good makeup for people who don't like to use a lot of foundation or a lot of concealer, even though I use the a big amount because I need to have my under eyes very well concealed. I did a little bit of contour but nothing too much, just a little bit to give a little bit of color to the face, a little bit of blush, a little bit of highlighter. It gives this beautiful glow because it's new year. So of course I had the makeup add to add glow and glitter and shimmer and we have it on our face, the glow and all of the glitter, all of the shimmer on the eyes. Now I want to know what you thought about the video, if you like the makeup or not, what you thought about it, if you are going to use it on New Year's Eve or not, so go down there in the comments and tell me everything. And if you like this video and you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all of the notifications when I upload a new video. And if you like this one, don't forget to also give it a thumbs up. I'm also going to leave down there via the social media that I use, so you can go there and follow me as well. And because it's my last video of 2022, I just want to wish you an amazing New Year's Eve and also an amazing start of 2023. I hope that everything goes as you plan, as you wish, so I hope that we all have an amazing 2023 and I hope that you stick around with me here on my channel and keep seeing all of my videos in here of makeup and thank you so much for watching this one until the end and now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!